assalamu alaikum students welcome to my channel students in this video i am going to elaborate the classification structural classification of neuron neurons are the cells that made up the brain and nervous system they are the functional units that use to send and receive signal to control the different body functions they are the structural and the functional unit of the nervous system just from looking down a microscope it becomes clear that all the neurons are not same so the structural classification of the neuron can be made the structural classification of the neuron is based upon the number of the processes that project out from the cell body on this base there are three major groups of the neurons unipolar bipolar and multipolar my focus in this video is on the structural classification of these three types of the neurons unipolar bipolar and multipolar in this video i will show you the diagrams of the unipolar bipolar and multipolar neurons with the structural components of these three types of neurons this is another this is a diagrammatic representation of the structural classification of neuron here you can see this one shows the unipolar neuron bipolar neuron and the multipolar neuron these diagrams show the structural component of these three types of neurons now moving toward the detail of the structure of the unipolar bipolar and multipolar respectively unipolar neuron Unipolar neurons have a single short process that extend out from the cell body. They are found primarily in the efferent region of the peripheral nervous system located on the posterior root ganglia. They are called the unipolar because they have single axon which divides close to the cell body. The single process that extend project out from the body branches into two more processes the peripheral process and the central process which are going to in opposite direction the process that extend peripherally away from the cell body toward the receptor organ this is called the peripheral process and the process that extend toward the cns is called the central process unipolar neuron lack dendrites there is no dendrite in the unipolar neuron they have long only single axon unipolar neurons are most commonly type of the sensory neurons they carry the information about pain touch temperature so this is the description of the structure of the unipolar neuron now i am going to show you the structure diagrammatic structure of the unipolar neuron here you can see this is the diagram of the unipolar neuron you can see this is organ receptor from where the nerve impulse is sensory signals are received this is the cell body and this one is the axon which is process radiate out from the cell body toward the cns here the central process the process that extend from the cell body toward the cns is the central process while the process that extend from the cell body toward the receptor organ is the peripheral process usually peripheral process is longer than the central process and this is the diagram of the unipolar neuron let's move to the dipolar neuron bipolar neuron bipolar neurons the neurons that have two cytoplasmic extensions or processes attached to their cell body are structurally classified as the bipolar neuron bipolar neurons have only two processes the dendrite and the axon that extend in the opposite direction from the cell body one process or neuroid is called the dendrite and the other is the axon they are always sensory and carry information about the special senses such as vision olfaction hearing etc so the bipolar neurons are found in the retina of vestibular cochlear nerve and ganglia of the vestibular cochlear nerve and retina so this is the structural description of the bipolar neuron now the i'm going to show you the diagram of the bipolar neuron 
this is the bipolar neuron diagram you can see the axon hillock axon dendrite are present in the bipolar neuron while in the unipolar neuron there was no dendrite the cell body axon and dendrite are the property of the bipolar neuron here the axon terminal this shows the arrows shows the signals or impulses from the dendrites from the receptor cell to the cns this is another diagram here dendrite has dendrites which is the branching of the dendrite the cell body having nucleus initial segment from the uh, axon where from where the axon uh, originates out then the axon terminal this is the bipolar neuron diagram now moving toward the multipolar neuron the third class structure classification of the neuron multipolar neurons these are the special types of the nerve cells that are characterized by having numerous dendrites and a single axon they have three or more processes that extend out from the cell body they have multiple dendrites and a very long axon the dendrites and their branches provide the additional surface area for axons of the other neurons to form synapses the axon of the multipolar neurons are often very long and conduct action potentials throughout the brain down the spinal cord and along the nerves axons are oftenly covered they have myelin sheath that is series of swan cells covering the axon most of the neurons present in the human body are of the multipolar neuron type myelin sheath is not continuous throughout the length of the axon there are gaps in the myelin sheath between the swan cells these are known as the node of brain where impulses only occur at these gaps which accelerates the impulse conduction more than 99% of the neurons in the human body are of the multipolar neuron type they are found in the cns and the efferent division of the pns peripheral nervous system so this is the structural description of the multipolar neuron now moving toward the diagram of the multipolar neuron here you can see this is the diagram of the multipolar neuron with the structural anatomy this is the cell body and one long axon these are the dendrites the axon is covered by the myelin sheath myelin sheath has the series of the schwann cells and the node of renvier the gaps between the myelin sheath segments then the axon terminal the end of the axon are uh, at the cns then the dendrites cell body and dendrites branches from where the impulses or signals are received the dendrites are the extension of the cell body that receive the impulses and the axon is also a process or neuroid or extension of the cell body that take the impulses and send it to the cns central nervous system so this is the diagram of the multipolar neuron you can see this all the structures present in the multipolar neuron in this diagram so this is all about the structural classification of the neuron unipolar bipolar and multipolar neuron i hope by watching the full video you have complete com concept of the structural classification of the neuron thank you very much